I am Anil Kumar sharing with you test questions from vectors chapter 7. It is application of dot and cross product of vectors. You can copy this question and then we will discuss this at length. So here is the question. The angle between vectors a which is 6 minus 2 3 and b which is 1 p minus 2 is cos inverse of 1 minus of 1 divided by 14 equals to theta where theta is the angle between a and b determine the value of p let us look into the solution of this question in details so the question here is we are given angle between these two vectors and that is like cos theta is minus 1 over 14 so we can write from here cos theta as equals to minus 1 over 14 right so so when we say theta is cos inverse of minus 1 over 14 we can always write cos theta equals to minus 1 over 14 right we know the two vectors we need to find the value of p that's the whole idea now we can use the dot product formula to find or to relate them we know cos theta is also equals to dot product of a and b divided by so it is dot product of a and b divided by magnitude of a times magnitude of b so that is how they are related solving this equation we should get the value of p correct so we'll rewrite this as minus 1 over 14 equals to vector a is given to us 6 minus 2 um, i mean minus 2 3 dot b which is 1 p minus 2 divided by square root of 6 square so we'll write 36 here plus minus 2 square which is 4 plus 3 square which is 9 times square root of b which is 1 square which is 1 plus b square uh, plus 2 square which is 4 right so that is how we can get uh, let's find the dot product simplify it a bit so 6 times 1 is 6 plus minus 2b minus 2p okay and 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 over uh, 6 plus 4 36 plus 4 40 49 square root is 7 and here we get square root of 5 plus p square correct now this simplifies to minus 2p over 7 times square root of 5 plus p square right so we have minus 1 over 14 equals to minus 2p 7 over this right so we can just cross multiply and then find the value of p so what we will do is we'll cross multiply we know this can be simplified further but anyway let us first cross multiply so minus and minus becomes positive we get 7 square root of 5 plus p square on the left side equals to 14 times all this so i'll write 14 times 2 times p right so so that is what we get on the right side so dividing by 7 i could write 5 plus p square equals to if i divide this by 7 i get 4 p right so that is what i get now to solve this we can square both sides so now square both sides so when you square both sides let me write in a different thing you get 5 plus p square equals to 16 p square now we can take this on the other side so you get 5 equals to 16 p square minus p square which is 15 p square right now dividing we get 5 over 15 equals to p square and that implies that p is equals to square root of 1 over 3 with plus and minus sign correct so that becomes the answer for p so p could have these two values square root of plus or minus 3 so p value is plus minus uh, 1 over square root right so you could also rationalize and write square root 3 over 3 that's fine so either way that is the value of p thank you and all the rest